Convair Pogo. The pilot would sit in his seat um, and he had to look over his shoulder as he, as he descended and landed it. Once achieving a hover, Coleman simply reduced power and the Pogo descended back to Earth. It was the first flight in which a pilot flew both aerodynamically and in the hover. And once he took off, he can then convert to normal flight. On November 2nd, 1954, Skeets Coleman took the Pogo skyward on its first transition flight. Because the Pogo took off and landed on its tail, Coleman needed to carry out both outbound and inbound transitions in one flight. And the idea was that this was a useful plane, especially in the, in the military field, in the, in the battle line, battlefields, where they could land close to the troops, re, uh, resupply, um, regas, and then take off again. Looks like a moth has eaten it. It's had a few accidents. Um, I've stiffened up the frame by using balsa wood. We're going to attempt something that I've never attempted before. You'll be amazed at this next maneuver. Are you crazy? Oh, look at dancing! Can you drag just one of the pontoons? No. Come on, you can drag just... Whoa! Yeah.